Hey guys, this is Kim from Simplified Family Living and welcome to my channel. Today's tutorial is going to be how to design and print your own paper for decoupage. So for this project, you only need a few materials and tools. You're going to want some white standard tissue paper, some printer paper, some repositioning spray adhesive, and some printable graphics from online. Um, you're also going to want a pair of scissors and just a basic inkjet printer. All right, so the first thing that I did was went to canva.com and I just typed in a custom size here for a standard sheet of paper, which I did it at 11 by eight and a half inches. And then I just went over on the left-hand side to elements and picked out um, designed and hit duplicate. So that way it would be the same shape and size. So what you're going to want to do is as you're applying your images, you're going to want to size them the way that you'd like. And then you're going to want to continue to layer different images and graphics on. So what's nice is you actually have the freedom in this program to be able to customize, make your own colors, you can take the graphics and tilt them any which way and you can apply just layer after layer. There is actually a button up at the top which is going to allow you to position your images in back of one another or in front and that helps you to get different layers. You also have the ability to make some of them um, to adjust their transparency. Okay so here what I'm doing is I want to add the very background image. The reason that I put it on so dark was so that I could see it. And what I did was pick an element that was a piece of lace. And I'm going to, I'm just looking here to see what colors going to look the best. I just want something very faint just so it gives that layered look. And it's hard to tell on here, but it was just a really light pink um, piece of lace. And right now what I'm doing is I just want to add some different text. And so I'm finding the font that I want to use and adjusting that to size. And then once I type in the words that I want, I will go ahead and hit that duplicate button and I'll put them all in position. So I just did springtime and I'm adding that down to the bottom and then adding a few words right up at the top. All right, so now I'm just gonna go through, make sure everything is sized up the way that I want it and make any final adjustments. This next step, you're definitely gonna wanna do outside. You're gonna take your repositioning spray adhesive and lightly spray your copy paper. And then I just took a sheet of printer paper and I'm just cutting out my tissue paper um, to the exact size of the copy paper while the positioning spray is drying. Because you don't want it wet, you do want it slightly tacky. So when your paper is dry, you're going to want to take the shiny side and put it down and then smooth out your sheet um, so there's no wrinkles on it. And then you're ready to print. And this part if you come up with any resistance, just start peeling from another place. What I do recommend is after you print it, make sure that you let the ink dry before you do that one step. And then you are ready for some decoupage fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial and I'll link my blog post below. Have a super blessed day and I'll see you soon.